Today we are going to tour my 495 square foot studio. So that was the studio. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye guys. I'm kidding. <laughs> Whenever you call my name And you'll never, never know so when you first walk in, it's this like long studio. I mean, long studio. You walk in and it's like, just so you can kind of see, it's like a hallway. Oops, let's not get too ahead of ourselves. But this is like the entryway is what I'll say. So it has the bathroom, the washing machine, and uh, my closet. Even though this space is small, I have a lot of wall space. And I call that real estate, girl. I have a lot of real estate on the wall, right? I know for sure I want to put like a little entry table right here with like maybe like some artwork right up here. Just something to spruce up the entry like when you first walk in then when you come in it is the bathroom super cute my favorite part of the bathroom is the mirror just so you guys can see like how i'm holding it <laughs> anyway i got these mats right here from target then the toilet which i think the toilet it has like two settings for when you flush then the shower which i really wanted a bathtub but it was extremely hard to find a bathtub in a studio. So right here is going to be the built-in shelving. On the ground I have my dirty clothes basket and we have our towels. Then the next thing that I have is all of my body care, oral care, and skin care. Here is a life hack for you guys. If you want to maximize the space that you have, getting these little cubes from Ikea for your dresser are literally amazing. Right here is just where I hang my, my robes. I literally live in robes it's actually insane so this is the bathroom so you can see it in its entirety right across from the bathroom is going to be the washer and dryer i just have this mirror right here which um it's a little bit too big for the space but i just like how it looks on this wall i want to get another mirror i have yet to decide like which one I want. With this wall right here, because it's like a lot of like blank space, like a lot of opportunity to do something with this wall, I don't know what I wanna do because it's the very last wall, like from the entryway, bringing it into the rest of the apartment. So I don't know what I wanna do right here. I, I don't know. If you guys have any suggestions as to what I should do with this wall, please let me know. Closet is actually pretty big considering the size of this apartment is kind of teeny tiny but the actual closet itself is a really nice size so here is the closet right here really excited with the closet this is the biggest closet i've ever had in my life truly a walk-in closet miss girl reporting live from the closet Whew. okay anyway okay so one thing i will say is like that's it for as far as like storage i don't have a coat closet i have to put my room and things I have to like wedge it in here like this. So if you're looking for a studio apartment, please make sure you have a coat closet or somewhere to put your cleaning supplies because it's it's not like crazy annoying. Like it's not something that I'm like losing sleep over, but it's, it's irritating. Now we're in the kitchen, which the kitchen is my favorite part of this apartment. I've literally always dreamed about just cooking in my kitchen when I get my first apartment and I've been in here cooking nonstop, girl. Chef Curry with the wrist boy. Like I have a lot of cabinet space and I'm really, really excited, happy about that. First things first, like here is my washing machine. I think having like one big sink is actually more common now. Then it is the electric stove and then it has the microwave right above. Then the refrigerator. And then there is like the island that can actually move. So I can move the island if I want to move it like against the wall. I can move it against the wall. If I want to turn it around, I could. The island actually has storage on it, which I absolutely love. And it's actually really big. I thought I was gonna cook a lot on the island, but I don't. That is the kitchen. So that is just an overview of the kitchen. So here is the bed. Now, I definitely want a new bed. I probably want to get a bed that looks like this because I have like a whole little ordeal how I want to decorate my space. In this area right up here, like all this white space right here, I want to put like a very large, large, large painting. I want to get a new nightstand with a big lamp. And I have a bunch of space over here that I wanna do something with, but I don't know quite yet. But I do know 
with this side over here, I want to put a bunch of shelving, like floating shelves. Right next to the bed, I have the balcony, which I'm not going to show because I don't want people to see the outside of my apartment. So then you come around and this is like the quote unquote living room part. I'm probably going to get rid of everything that you see right here and get all new furniture. I'm going to put a rug in this area. So I think the bed and the couch that I'm going to get are gonna share the same rug or maybe it's just gonna be the couch. But I know I wanna put a couch right here and then an accent chair in this corner right here and have like a little baby coffee table. And then over here, I wanna get a new vanity. So the TV is supposed to go right here. I don't know really what they were thinking. I don't see like how a bed and a couch can be on the same side and see the TV. Like to me, that doesn't make any sense, whatever. A mirror above the couch. And then I have to, I just have to figure out how I'm gonna decorate all this wall space up here because it's just so much wall space that I don't want to go to waste. Honestly, that is it. That's my apartment. She's tiny, but I absolutely love her. It's my very first apartment and I knew I wanted a studio. As I go, I can just keep growing and just keep getting bigger spaces. I'm so excited with my baby. I cannot wait to decorate her. I'm going to update you guys as I you know, furnish my apartment because we're remodeling this whole entire place. Well, not remodeling, but redecorating or decorating this whole entire place. And I'm just so excited. I just feel so blessed and grateful to finally be in my own space. It's still a dream. I still wake up sometimes confused, like, where am I? <laughs> you know, this isn't my childhood bedroom. I am just very excited with this chapter of my life and I'm so thankful and if you are you know searching for your new apartment searching for your first apartment trying to figure out a living situation whatnot whatnot you know keep your standards high I was gonna settle for an apartment that I really didn't like because of like XYZ and I'm so glad that I didn't and I went with this one because this apartment literally it feels like a hotel brand new 2023 like I'm the first person to ever live in this apartment like it's not a brag kind of flex I'm just grateful, you know? So don't drop your standards for anything. God can make, you know, things happen for you. I can't wait to have like friends and stuff over, especially when I get like seating. Cause I need like bar stools as well. <laughs> I need to get bar stools, girl. I eat standing up like a horse, honey. This is my space, guys. This is my space. Oh, can't turn too much. Like I open my blinds up, but this is my space and um yeah thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe please subscribe and please like that's all i ask of you it's to subscribe if you really like this video and just give it a thumbs up because you know why not it's the least it's the least it's the least you know it's the little things but yes yeah, see you guys in the next video bye guys